Hey folks, Gary and Carlin, Mosses Creek Outdoors. Whoop, there's Mosses Creek, just come across it. Right back there. I'm headed down to the farm this morning and on this cold morning, cold morning, supposedly we got a pretty good little bit of snow coming. I'm gonna stop up here and do a little quick visit in three or four spots at the Sulphur Springs Cemetery. It's right up here close to where part of Mosses Creek runs through in the kind of the south, southwestern part of the county here. I'm gonna visit some uh, family members here. Got a good, uh, good several people. Uh, my granddaddy's mom and daddy and his grandma and grandpa and, and a few other folks are here. Uh, Sulphur Springs is a considerably large cemetery. There's already been some additional property purchased, as I understand, to extend it here soon, uh, further north on up the hill. Uh, as you, you can just look right out my window right here at all the, the markers out there. But there's a there's a lot of a lot of people here in Sulphur Springs. Uh, this is, you know, pretty much the area of the country that I've been since I was born. <clears throat> but a lot of people out here. Just looking out my window, I see a, I see a Andrew and a Francis Kirk. Of course, there are several Stedmans here. There's a tacky right here on the side of the road. I see several Kirks. There's some locks. Taylors. But uh I'm gonna park up through here and get out right quick. I've got probably four or five spots I wanna visit right quick right here that's uh for the most part of the spots i'm going to are family members and just have a quick look on this cold cloudy old cast morning some cold air ahead of that snow Felix Johnson Taylor and his wife Sarah. That's my granddaddy's grandma and grandpa. Shame I never got to meet them. Here's some mighty fine stories all my life growing up about what kind of people they were.
William J. Taylor. That's my granddaddy's mama's uh, brother. He was found dead in woods down there where I grew up when he was, I believe it's 25 years old there. Everybody claimed he got a hold of some poison whiskey. I involved him in one of my history episodes uh, back a year or so ago, maybe a, close to a couple years ago, talking about him. Sad, but an interesting story. This right here is uh, Allen Dale. Carlin. He was a very young, young son of my granddaddy's oldest brother, Allen, or everybody calls him Junior. He lived uh, April the 10th through the 22nd, 1959. back up here this is this is Alan Theodore Carlin and Leslie D Taylor this is my granddaddy's mom and daddy remember hearing a lot of stories from over the years I never I never met Theodore uh, he was only 49 years old when he died uh, I think my granddaddy was 11 when he lost his daddy there and uh, I got to meet Leslie. I, I remember her. I was really young, but I do remember her. Uh, my granddaddy's mom and daddy. And jumping right here, John and Jean Busby. Some mighty fine people. John W. Busby and Jean. Uh, Carlin Busby. Jean is my granddaddy's oldest sibling. She was the only girl. One girl and four boys. My granddaddy's next to the youngest out of the boys. Fine, fine people.
according to reading uh, some of the old county documentation that I have over time, uh, that John Thomas Gooch that's buried in that little crypt on top of the ground, uh, no older than he was, 20-something, I think. I'll have to look at those dates again, 20-something years old. Uh, he's the one that actually donated land a few miles southwest of here at the Mosses Creek Cemetery for a church to be built on there many years ago. And as I read in the old documentation, the old church burnt. And I don't even know what side of the cemetery that it was on. Uh, but I think I can kind of look around and tell where it pretty much would have been to say. Uh, but before I leave a Sulphur Springs Cemetery, I'm gonna show, fixing to show you a, a spot right here in the cemetery where that uh, myself and the family uh, exhumed my grandfather's grave a couple of years ago. He stayed buried here at Sulphur Springs for 10 years and we moved him three miles from here uh, down on the home farm where I was raised. So I'm gonna show you this spot here uh, where he used to be. Here's the church right here. Mosses Creek's just right down here at the bottom of the hill. This spot right here where this orange looking gravel is, this is where uh, my granddaddy stayed buried for 10 years. The headstone was sitting right across right here and he was right on this side. Uh, it was kind of cracked all around the, uh, the side and the whole thing was pretty sunken down last time I was over here. So we just run into some uh, difficulty with him being buried here. We exhumed his grave and moved him home. Uh, something that was bad with this is his, his casket was full of water when we uh, lifted him up. But what they done on this side, on the north side of him, which he was, he was about right along here, is they, they slabbed the whole top off of him. And then they went over here uh, beside him and dug out, say, the biggest part of a grave. Maybe not a, maybe not a whole entire grave. They didn't go down as deep. And they got some big straps under the casket and lifted him up. After they lifted him up, they toted him all the way up the back of the cemetery and went out that gate up there and they, they set him on a 16-foot trailer and hauled him down there to the farm. But uh, I'm going to go down there to the farm and I'm going to show you where my granddaddy rests today.
well folks i uh, hope you enjoyed the the cold little morning episode uh stopping by and, and visiting some family members here on this cold cold morning uh you know it's just i don't know a little over 20 degrees is our high today and we're supposed to be even colder over the next three or four days but uh uh, you know, I hope you enjoy uh, yourself if you can, you know, getting out and somewhat around the country and, and researching history and looking at different stuff like I do. And, you know, it's just a, it's a, a very interesting place uh, down in this portion of southwestern Tennessee. I am in the southwestern portion of McNary County, Tennessee, which is in the southwest part of the state. Uh, just a lot of folks was here many years ago. A lot of folks I hear about, a lot of stories. You know, there's a, a lot of history. Just a lot, a lot of history from years ago. A lot of things to talk about. Uh, from where I'm at right here, uh, the old historic shallow school that I've talked about in a couple of videos is just a half a mile south right through the woods right here. And just over there, over there near where that old uh, shallow school was, that's where uh, Mary J. Kirk is buried up in the timber in the hardwoods over there. Uh, that's, again, one of the greatest stories and top videos ever uh, on my channel. I just, I can't never see another story involving history uh, taking place of that one. You know, that was such a, such a great uh, event. You know, those, uh, those folks and, you know, that family been looking for that woman for 60 plus years but uh what i'm gonna do i'm gonna leave you here with a about a six minute outro on the video um it's just showing a few places and where i've been out over the last couple of years and things i've looked at you know uh people that i've been out in the field with uh, i really enjoy uh, being out with folks and and talking and you know, being out in the field and looking at different stuff, and it's really interesting what a lot of people out there's got to say uh, a lot of times. But uh, you know, I've been around and I've looked at a lot, a lot of graves out there, a lot of, a lot of cemeteries, and just looked at a lot, a lot of interesting things out there across the country. So I'm gonna share these bits and pieces here with you uh, on the video going out uh, to the end here. And to go along with that, get out and enjoy the outdoors, whatever that it may be out there, hunting and fishing, camping, researching history, looking at cemeteries, and, or just anything looking into the history of our great country and our neighborhoods. So until next time, I'm Garen Carlin, and this is Milo, Mosses Creek Outdoors, and I'll see you next time.